Hey there folks and welcome to another backstory where we bring you a behind the scenes look into our latest news coverage. Now last week was a pretty big deal for the Santan Foothills football team as they were looking for that first win of the season. Up until last week uh, the Sabercats were 0-5 um, opponents had outscored them 169 to 49 and they did something that's pretty hard to believe you know i was there to witness the game and the santan foothills team i saw did not appear to be an 0 and 5 team they defeated they defeated vista grande 55 to 18 and they did so in just fantastic form they did it uh, they got it done offensively, defensively, and on special teams. The Sabercats rushed for approximately 350 yards, and a big reason for that were Anthony Hood and Emilio Soto. Soto had a pretty big night um, just all around. He had three receptions for 26 yards, eight carries for 62 yards, and one touchdown. And he also had a kick return touchdown of over 70 yards. Anthony Hood added nine carries for 112 yards and one, and one touchdown. And other key other key contributors to the run game were Clayton Jones, uh, Anthony Aracho, and even Brett Lincoln. They all also had a rushing touchdown. Along with it being the first win of the season, it was also the first win for head coach Mike Carlin, who took over the Sabercats football team this year and it's been a big challenge for him the Sabercats the past couple of years they've had a different coach almost every season so it's really important for him to try to establish some type of culture some type of identity for the program and if last, last week's game is, is any indication then if these guys can keep it up and keep that momentum going the Sabercats are going to be in pretty good hands and with that, this has been Backstory. Be sure to check out PinalCentral.com for all of the latest news coverage. Like us on Instagram. And also be sure to tune in every Wednesday for Friday Night Spotlight where we break down the game of the week.